Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Driving with John and GTA. We're going to do the final three races of this playlist here. And uh, what we're trying to do is make money. We're trying to make money for my other character, my guy character. Because I want to buy that new um, Osiris or whatever, this sports car. And we're using my female character to level her up. She's, I think we're still in the 20s. So yeah, we got some, uh, we got some work to do here, but we're still on this, um, double RP weekend thing, so we're going to, you know, use that to our advantage. Yeah, we're level 28. Bounce up a little bit here. Um, a little bit upset, because I know she has a Centorno. But it might be destroyed, I can't remember for sure. So the last few episodes, I've been talking about Mustangs and cars in general. And we're going to continue talking about Mustangs, but I'm going to tell you a story of a leaky exhaust on my wife's V6 Mustang. And all the troubles we've had with that. So. The V6 3.8 liter 2002 Mustang that she has. Um, that, that particular motor has some issues. The truck motor from the time of the truck V6 was roughly the same motor. I can't remember if it was a longer stroke or more bore or what. I think it might have just been a longer stroke. <clears throat> but it was a 4.2 liter V6 and they were known for um, for getting small leaks in their head gaskets. And it's like as long as you started the truck every day you might never notice the problem but if you left the truck sit for a while how did I tag my rear end already? Yeah, if you left the truck sit for a while um, you know the water in, in the cylinder cooling jacket and the head would leak down I guess not from the cylinder cooling jacket but from the head would leak down into the cylinder and fill it up with liquid and then when the next time you start it the piston would hit that liquid on the compression stroke and if that's the thing it would have to be on the compression stroke if it's not an exhaust stroke uh, the exhaust valve might open up and put and let some of the liquid go out or coolant whatever but you know if it comes up on a compression stroke and there's um liquid in there, the uh, fluid, whatever, coolant, water, whatever you got, um, since liquids don't compress, the rod will bend or break, typically bend, um, yeah, that actually happened to a cousin of mine, his truck, so that sucks, but, uh, they, they were known for, for losing their head gaskets, did I just lose the front, I did, cool, that's never happened to me on this car, huh, anyway, um, but the 3.8s and the Mustangs weren't known for that, which is kind of interesting because they're a very, very, very similar motor. But what the 3.8 Mustang engines were known for was having leaky exhaust manifolds. I just lost a door, huh. But it wasn't the head that warped that made the, which I think that was the issue on the, um, on the trucks with the head, the heads were warping a little bit on the cars, the exhaust manifolds would warp a little bit, or maybe the heads would warp, because the heads are aluminum, and the exhaust manifolds are um, steel. So, you know, two different metals side by side is, is usually, or it can lead, to, can lead to problems, because the two different metals will expand at different rates, and wow, that, that uh, tore up or offended it, it looks really good. All creased and dented, and oh, I get a new car, but um, Anyway, yeah, the exhaust manifolds leak. So you'll see, if you listen, there'll be a lot of you know ninety nine to two thousand four Mustangs running around with exhaust leaks, V six ones. <clears throat> it's very typical. So I decided to get her a set of uh, shorty headers for the car to fix the exhaust leak. <clears throat> I know headers can have their own problems as well, but I did my research and. Um, Got a set of shorty headers. I wasn't looking for power increase or anything like that. Just to fix that exhaust leak from her warped exhaust manifold. So I put the headers on, which was a pain in the butt, I'll tell you. 
Um, it just took a lot longer than I thought and I think it should have. And I started the car up and no exhaust leak. Oh, it was great. My wife was happy. Everything was good. You know, it's her, it's her baby. She really likes it. So no exhaust leak. Um, and then, like, three days later, exhaust leak. And it's worse. Like, what, what's going on here? So, I take... It's on the driver's side. Um, so I take the top bolts of that one back out and change the gasket on the top. And it's still got an exhaust leak. I'm like, well, it doesn't sound like a single cylinder. It sounds like all the cylinders. Like, it's almost constant. So I was like, let's check the collector. And I'm a little bit upset because... I just didn't backflip. Um, it, this just sucks. Like, the, the ball collector and the flange on the exhaust pipe don't match up perfectly. They're at different angles. And so it leaves a little gap between the ball and the uh, or the ball connector and, and the flange. It just leaves a little gap, just enough for there to be an exhaust leak. Now I can tighten this thing up, ridiculously tight, with like a massive breaker bar, and get it to where it doesn't leak anymore. And but it starts again in a few days because it loosens itself off. So I mean, really, I can tighten it up and then put another nut up on that stud, and it will probably hold it and be good forever. It just seems like a I mean, it's like a fix, but uh, it's just not good because if something, someone else is working on the car or something, and you know they'll have to find that. And I don't like you have to find something. You're like, oh, what happened here? This isn't how it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to be, you know, the stud and one nut. That was a crap ramp. I didn't clear the fence. At least it blew up. That's good. It's probably going to put me way too close to the ramp. Yeah. Well, uh, I need to go back and make some changes to this race. Anywho. Um, so I want it to be fixed properly. So, like, my options are... Do another factory exhaust manifold. Which I've looked at. Don't land on top of the building. Okay. I've looked at the factory exhaust manifold that I took off and it barely didn't have this problem like it didn't line up with the exhaust pipe either and, but it was I mean I'm talking a millimeter of, of lapping over in coverage and I, you know, if, it, if that's all it takes that's all it takes but it almost had a problem as well so I'm, th I'm thinking if I get another one of these parts, if I get another factory one, a different one, it's going to have the same problem. One, it's probably going to warp in time like they all do. Because, I mean, that's why it was changing them in the first place. And so I don't want to do a factory one because it'll warp. So then I'm like, well, do I change the, uh, do I change the mid pipe on it, which has the catalytic converters and everything. And she doesn't really want a tune on her car to delete uh, the cats. So, I could get an, a different mid-pipe, but it's kind of like it's a V6, and we're not really worried about the power of it. It's more of just a cruiser car for her. So I don't want to spend all that money on getting a catted X-pipe for it, because those things are kind of expensive. So then I'm just back to putting two nuts on that one side, you know, one to tighten it, and another one to lock that first one in place. I don't like that option. not sure what to do either but I need to do something about it because you start the car up it's like it's really annoying for a while it does after, even after it heats up it goes away a little bit so it's so close to being tight <clears throat> but I don't think we're ever going to sell the car she wants to keep it forever you know it's it's not really worth much now kind of sucks if you keep a car for a while like that and it's not one that's kind of rare and, and worth all the money or more money because like she bought it in 04 and it's in 02 and paid over $20,000 for it because that's what it costs you know to buy a couple year old Mustang right I mean so I mean that was just that was how much it cost but like an 02 V6 Mustang now even hers only has 104,000 miles on it it's just not worth that much 
Yeah, I doubt we could get. I doubt we could get 4,500 out of it. I hope all this picked up. My microphone was quite a bit lower than I thought it was. We shall see. But yeah, so, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I need to fix the problem. And so she doesn't have that exhaust leak anymore. But I want to fix it right. But I keep thinking, I'm like, I could just get Mac long tubes and a catted mid pipe for long tubes. And it just <laughs> it gets out of hand. It's like, it's an exhaust leak. I don't want to spend over $1,000 to fix a tiny exhaust leak. I don't have to worry about it for a while, though. We drive that car a few hundred miles a year. So I'll get to it eventually. But I do want, whenever she goes out to drive it, I want it to be a pleasant experience for her and not just a hissing exhaust leak the whole time. Because that's no fun. What other problems have we had? The alternator went out on it and we got an aftermarket one and it was a remanufactured alternator and it went out within um, a week and then we got an, a replacement because it had a warranty on that everything and it was crap so I got a replacement. And that happens sometimes. You get aftermarket parts, rebuilt stuff especially, and it's just not quite up to snuff. So, you know, it went out within a week, and then we got... I think we ended up going through three of them before we went to the Ford dealership and tried to get a Motorcraft one. But even they didn't have new ones. They only had remanufactured ones. And I was like, okay, well, it was remanufactured by Motorcraft, so maybe it's better. And maybe it wasn't remanufactured by Motorcraft. Maybe it was done by the same people who did the ones at the parts stores. I don't know. <clears throat> but, you know, we went through, I think, another two or three from Ford. And they were like, well, maybe there's another problem with the car. And I'm like, no, there's really not. Because at the time, it had 80,000 miles. And I'd already replaced idler pulleys and stuff. And the belt was perfectly lined up. And uh, the car wasn't drawing more amperage than it needed to. And, like, there's no other problems. It's these remanufactured ones are crap. So I ended up getting a new one. I can't remember, it's uh, like the one they sell in American Muscle, um, PA Performance, or something like that, I think. But we got a new alternator from them, and yeah, been perfectly fine. Not a single problem out of it. It was frustrating having the people at the Ford dealership tell us, you know, it's something else wrong with the car, there's some other problem there, which is getting my wife all freaked out. She doesn't, she doesn't uh, have the experience I do working on cars, so she's, oh no, something's wrong with my car, what's, why isn't this thing flipping over, it's just going back and forth, that's weird, anyway, so she's like freaking out, like something's way wrong, and we're gonna have to fix more stuff, it costs a lot of money, I'm like, no, 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 so it's just this cheap rebuild stuff sucks, and when I finally, you know, when we finally did put a new one on it, it's just fine, like I said, so, I recommend that, I recommend that route, always new parts if you can, Remanufactured parts are not new parts. Probably something to do with uh, heat cycles on it and expansion and compression um, as, as it goes through its heat cycles. You know, maybe it had a remanufactured part has any bearings, had new bearings and stuff in it. Ooh, explosion, but the part has has gotten hot and cold so many times it can expand and contract more than a new one, right? So I, I don't know if this is what happens. This is my theory. So 
because as it, he did and cold so many times and expanded and cold so a little bit further just a, just a hair I mean just fractions of a millimeter which lets the bearings get out of tolerance and out of you know too much play in them and then wears them out really quick that's what I think happens so I think you know if you have an, a new case and a new set of bearings they'll break in together has worked for me so far what other problem did we have on that car <sighs> kind of a weird one um, since it's based off an older motor it doesn't have I don't think it has a crank trigger on it it might have a crank trigger but it has in place of the uh, distributor coming up it has a camshaft position sensor which has a distributor gear on it down there just like just like the distributor would and I believe at the bottom of it it even t still turns the oil pump just like a distributor would so that's kind of interesting but um in the grove okay but anyway um that bearing and that will go out too and it will squeal and make all kinds of awful noises and it's no good easy enough to replace but um, it's kind of difficult to get back perfectly accurate because if it's ever so slightly off it will tell the computer that the camshaft is in a slightly different section of its rotation and the engine won't run right and no matter you know how many times I attempted it I was within it, it just it wasn't perfect and I, I uh, did all the stuff where you set the you know the number one cylinder top bit center and this and that and everything and then when I did all that when the old one was in it I made marks for you know which way it was pointing and, and everything how I was supposed to <clears throat> and I did it all right <coughs> but I just couldn't get the new one to line up exactly it was just a hair off and you can tell it when you drive the car if you know if you had driven the car before the power is the power delivery is just a hair different now. Kind of interesting. Still drives fine. Still gets the same gas mileage. It's just there's just a little bit of a uh, not a hesitation, but it picks up just a little bit later in the RPM range. No big deal. Had another problem with that car too. This car hasn't had a bunch of problems. It's just um, you know we've had it 14 years and put 100,000 miles on it roughly. So. If stuff was going to happen, it happened to us because we had the car. Um, and here's another change between, or from talk about, I think from last week, uh, changes between, or changes in new edge cars. Um, 99 and 2000, and maybe 2001, I can't remember for sure. 2001 is kind of a, a transition year for GTs and V6s. Um, this is a short race, but 99 and 2000 for sure. The V6s had 12 intake runners. They had six short runners and six long runners. So each cylinder has 12, or each, the engine has 12 um, intake runners. Kind of interesting. And they thought that the you know the air would take the path of least resistance and go whichever one was better for the engine at the time. Didn't really work out like that. Good, good in theory, but just didn't work. So what they did was they added a set of butterfly valves. That closed off one set. I can't remember which one. So it, it runs off one set of of these intake runners and low RPMs, and then above 3,500 RPMs, um, a vacuum actuated motor moves some rods and turns these butterfly valves inside the intake, and then it opens up the other six runners. Um, and now we get to find why that's a problem. That's my bike. Cool. I'll drive that. So I stole earlier. That is a problem because it's just another moving part. Um, the actuator tends to work. I don't. I haven't really heard of anybody's going out. It's hard to get to. Like if you had to change the actuator, you have to take the intake manifold off the car. That kind of suck. But um, so the arms go out and attach into these little uh, little rods. It's all a bunch of little rods and stuff. But there's little bushings that they that the rods clip into 
and those bushings being vinyl and being right there off the back of the motor get get uh what's the word I'm looking for they get brittle over time and break so my wife's driving home from work and she calls me and she was like something's way wrong with my car something something bad's pinging like crazy and it doesn't have any power and I don't know what's going on and what ha what had happened was you have three of those intake runners basically stuck open and three of them not stuck open and so three cylinders of the engine are getting way more air than they should and running super super lean and the computer can't compensate for it because it's just not that type of system so you have three cylinders running way lean and getting way hot and um, pinging like crazy like detonating and I told her I said take it easy keep the RPMs down get home ASAP and it wasn't a very far drive thankfully so she gets home and I found out that the, you know I was looking around and online and stuff and you know trying to figure out what that problem can be and people were saying you know your butterfly valves have come loose on the back of the intake and I'm like oh crap and I got on I got online and I looked and that help company or whatever company makes the help products that have the stuff they have those little the little round clip pieces for those butterfly valve actuators on those Mustangs. And I'm like, holy crap, they really have those. And it's not really an, an odd piece. It would be the same piece that a door lock actuator, like the um, the the rods inside your door that work the locks and the door handle pull and everything. Um, it it would be some same pieces used for that stuff. So thankfully, right. But then I looked around online and I was like, you know local dealers and there's an advance right up the road from me so then I checked their part number on their website and I was like they have them in stock so this you know kind of random thing that most cars don't have which is butterfly valves in the intake manifold and 12 runners for a v6 motor and just kind of this really odd thing like my local parts store had the plastic clips I needed oh I went down there it was like a dollar and I came home and snapped you know I broke kind of had to pick the old one out with my hand I snapped the new clip in, snapped the rod into it, car was fine. So, you know, if you know how to do the research and know what you're looking for on the car, it was an easy fix. But, man, if you didn't know what you were up to, that would have sucked. You would think your engine had had just about given up the ghost. <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn. It's after 1 a.m. About 1.20. This will probably be the last uh, last section of GTA videos I make tonight. We'll jump into... I think they do put a car here for you when you're way out. That's nice. We'll jump into uh, Minecraft, start making some Minecraft videos. I might not. I might not make any more videos tonight. I think, I'm, I think I've got enough Minecraft videos to last probably through August and it's only mid-June right now I might take a break might be fun get up and get exercise or something almost hit that gas pump how much money we got 78289 how do I only have 78289 is the money separate now between characters or something my other guy had like a few hundred thousand. I'm so confused. Yeah, seventy-eight twenty-nine. That's weird. That's so weird. I wonder what's going on. If the money's separate between characters now, that's really cool. That would be nice. I was hoping it was the same still so I could use this character to build up my money and for the other character and build up the um, level for this character. This character is level 29. That's better. That's better for sure. Rampage. Alright guys, we see we're at $78,289. There's lightning bugs out here. That's really cool. So let's, uh, let's go out and let's hop into my other character. Just might take a second. I hope not, but and see what we got. I'm hungry. 
I might make some cheese dip here in a minute. I think there's some already in the fridge. Just gotta heat reheat it. We buy that uh, white stuff. I think it's made from goat milk, but uh, it's what they typically have at like Mexican restaurants and such. So good, so good. Ridiculous salty too. You mix that and the chips, and it's just <coughs> your lips it crack by the time you're done eating. I got get lucky. That lady got lucky. Not so much that time. Anyway, let's go pick my other character. You can see Michael here has 109 million. I did the stock stuff correctly, or almost correctly. I know if you do the stock stuff perfectly after you finish the game, you can end up with about a billion dollars on each character. Um, I didn't do it right. I missed out on one of them. I don't remember what I did. I ended up with about 400 million per character. So I took Michael and I bought every possible property he could buy. On the PS3, I really, really wanted the golf course. And I didn't do, I did the stock stuff before I finished the game. So I've eventually worked up over time and got everything but the golf course, like all the theaters. I think my son's waking up. But yeah, I got all the theaters. And if I just leave the PS3 on, I think for another month or two months, like real life two months, it will build up enough money to do it. Um, what I was doing in the PS3 for a while though, you can kill yourself and you'll come back at 7 a.m. and you kill yourself again, come back at 5 p.m. So I was killing myself over and over. Hang on just a second, guys. So the money is separate, apparently. Um, do not eat here. Actually, I have 150 something, and I just get hit by an SUV. That I will come in here. <clears throat> that had like 150 something, and I went to uh, ammunition. Ammo nation. Ammunition? Whatever. I don't know brain fart. Anyway, I went there and spent like half my money. And so then I went and sold a car. And that's why I'm going to sell a few. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to sell a few cars. Sorry guys, I should have waited just a second to start this. I know that's really loud in the microphone. I just had some really, really spicy, super spicy cheese dip, <coughs> and it's uh, it's putting the hurt on me. I'm gonna keep my dirt bike. Definitely keeping the little. BMW top car. I kind of want to keep that black dukes down there. These other three can go. This car is fun, but I want that other one more. <coughs> I normally go the up the up road there and ramp. Didn't do it that time. I still got into a wreck. It might be too soon. I sold one <clears throat> not long before starting this video. Well, I say not long. I went and ate some chips and cheese and such. Around twenty-two thousand. 
Yep. I wonder if they change that. I wonder if you have to wait a day. Or if on your own cars you can just sell, sell, sell. That would be much more convenient because I think it's a bit silly to have to wait a day to sell my own cars. <coughs> what the One thirty five. <clears throat> and a good chunk of change. <coughs> Excuse me again. Yes. Oh, I'm stealing your truck. The truck with the floppy back doors. Why did I turn there? What am I doing? I don't know. I just, I just don't know. <clears throat> Man, that stuff was spicy. I took some of that white cheese, like the, the Mexican restaurant type cheese, and uh, mixed some smoked cheddar in with it, hoping to give it a smoky flavor. <clears throat> it did give it a smoky flavor, along with an absolutely crap flavor. It just, it wasn't very good. Oh no, where's Superman going to change? <clears throat> I knocked over the uh, phone booth that no... You know, I say there's no phone booths around anymore. <clears throat> I, have, I have no clue. There, I don't think there were ever really phone booths around where I live, so... <clears throat> this three, th three star isn't going to go away quick. I picked up quite a bit of money, though. a few hundred bucks to Lester <clears throat> is a decent investment because I, I still come out ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's so worth it. <clears throat> okay. So, what else can we sell? Let's run up here to my my high end car stowage place. <clears throat> Cause I'm okay with getting rid of a few. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. However, it will happen again. I know I can get rid of that orange dukes I have. I'm okay with that. Because I've got that black one I really like. Into the garage. Okay. <clears throat> I got rid of the hot knife because I hate that car. Hmm. <clears throat> There's nothing in here I want to get rid of. Let's go sell that other Dukes I have. Hey, honey. 
I'm eating a Hershey's bar. I hope that's not too loud in the uh, microphone. A lot of those wet, smacky type noises. So I looked back behind my couch a minute ago. <clears throat> I'm still having to clear my throat. Wow. I looked kind of back behind my couch in the corner, kind of where it meets up with the wall. And there are three dead spiders, kind of all just facing each other, a little triangle. What probably happened is one died and was... <clears throat> another one came along and was eaten off him. And then another one... <clears throat> killed that one or they got not I, I don't know what happened I mean maybe they all just died at different times I would like to think though that there was a big three-way spider war and they all killed each other because that'd be cool <clears throat> I bet I won't get much for this what brings you in today? Oh wow. I think bad. We're making money now. Now I know my jerk mechanic won't bring me another car for a few minutes so we gotta steal something and go get one <clears throat> it's not far though rock this uh... what is to my eye a 7 series BMW <clears throat> Dead man. Uh, how much bounty did you put on me? I'll stay in the game. 3,000? Yeah. <clears throat> Just keep this lobby open for 45 minutes and uh, extra 3,000 dollars. <clears throat> they blocked off my, my hidey hole that I used to go and get away from when I had bounties on me in open lobbies. Had a little place I hid. And they closed it off, so you can't get in there anymore. <clears throat> kind of sucks. It wasn't even a glitch. It was just kind of an open floor of a building. <coughs> Excuse me. can I get rid of in here if you've watched my other videos you know what I'm going for I don't like this car it looks awesome but it is slow and it sucks <clears throat> But, even though it is slow and sucks, it does look nice. And that was why I bought it. It's like, oh, that looks cool. I wonder what that is. It's got a cool name. It's Chameleon. Oh, that's cool. No, no, it sucks. It's big, too. Shut up, Simeon. Nobody cares about your bald head. Here for the magic touch? Uh, 167? Yup. I 
making some money now, guys. Big time money. No cars. <clears throat> yeah, so apparently I can sell all my cars. I don't know about selling uh, cars you steal off the street. If you can go back to doing that one after the other, people <clears throat> could grind a lot of money doing that. I doubt you can, though. And maybe you've always been able to sell your own cars really quick like that. I've never tried because I don't typically get rid of my cars. It makes sense though, because I'm not. It's not like you're grinding out money. It's you know you have it. You've already bought it. You're just <clears throat> you, you've got it sitting there in the form of a car, so you gotta sell it. Oh crap, I didn't mean to put this in my garage. Hmm. <laughs> I like all those. I can get rid of that. From my, uh, when I, when I sent the PS3 character over. And my buddy has one too, and we'll have little Futo races. But, since this is on PS4 and he doesn't have a PS4, I go ahead and sell it. I rarely drive it anyway. It is fun though. You do stupid stuff like what I just did a second ago. Uh oh. I think I'm done with that Hershey's bar, so if all that uh, sloppy wet noise was coming through the mic, you don't have to listen to it anymore. Do for you. Ugh. 99,000? Yup. I'll tell you guys, Mountain Dew and chocolate don't go together. I shouldn't be having this much sugar anyway. It's completely ridiculous too to have that much sugar. That's not right. <clears throat> maybe they share, maybe the the two different um, characters share the same bank account. Maybe that's what it is. What you have on you is separate. I don't know. I rarely put money in the bank because I typically play by myself. So I don't really have anything to worry about. Oh, it's a Simeon vehicle. That blows. Since I'm right here, though, I'll go ahead and repaint it and lose a little bit of money. Like 700 something dollars, that'd be fine. What miracle did you want me to perform? Now that'll get the cops off my tail. Of course, I guess it probably would have been cheaper to call Lester. Oh well. Simeon ain't getting this car. What else was down here? I could get rid of that Stinger GT. I really like that car.
And I kind of don't want to get rid of it. <clears throat> so let's head back over to my other house. Let's see what they got there. Might be a mouse in my kitchen. I'm hearing stuff moving in there. Of course, I <coughs> just dumped some stuff in the trash can a minute ago, too. Maybe all that is settling. <coughs> I'm like looking away from where the microphone is to cough or clear my throat or whatever, but then I remember that I'm wearing a headset, and so the microphone just kind of <coughs> goes with me. A smuggler plane? Is it close? Probably not. I think they're always like far away from you. So you gotta drive somewhere you don't... Yeah, I'm not going all the way out there for a smuggler plane. It's like $3,000. Screw that. Probably drive around town and find an armored car quicker. Like the smuggler planes and stuff like, you know, the, the cars, the, the target car that you have to blow up, they're always pretty close, so... You know, I think those should be like three or four thousand, but they're only like two thousand. And then, um, cause I mean, everything's so expensive, it wouldn't hurt them to dish out a little bit of fake money. But, um, <coughs> the smuggler planes ought to be ten thousand, I think, because they're so far away always. Never had them close to me. I don't think they show up close to you. So, if you gotta go a long ways, I mean, three thousand really isn't worth it. Uh huh. This one is not mine. I've got the tracker on it because I stuck it in my garage, but it's not technically mine. I wonder if I put full coverage on it, if it will then let me sell it. It's uh, something to try, something I haven't done before. So forty three seventy five. So that's all I have in this car is forty three seventy five, and I, f I guess I repaired it. So let's say like, let's just say five thousand dollars. Let's go back out and in and see what happens. Oh, excuse me. Had to burp. Here for the magic touch. Huh. Interesting. See, it kind of sucks. Like, I know I could. I have some other cars that I could take in there and sell and probably have enough to. Oh, crap. To get that car. But. I won't want to. I want to keep those. I have $825,000. I might buy some money, guys. I. Told myself I wasn't gonna do that because I needed shocks for my truck. And if you watched videos from a few days or weeks ago, or a week ago or something, where I said I needed shocks for my truck, and you're thinking, "Holy crap, you still haven't bought shocks for your truck?" It is the same night. Every time I say stuff like that, I hear Chris Griffin uh, from Family Guy in my head when they were doing the uh, reality show, going, "Don't break the fourth wall. Don't break." You know, it's just silliness. But um. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, I have 825. How much do I need? I need 1.1 million. Be cool to have that too. Uh, that, not so much. Is there anything else new they added? See, that's a that's a cool truck. I really like that, but it just sucks. Oh, the Declassa Stallion. Intradesting. I forgot you could get that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. four doors okay I'm glad they've oh wow that's awful I'm glad they've upped the options of what you can get now online the war stock is the Mesa in here yeah 87 grand okay so I need another one of those. I had one, <coughs> and it got scrapped. But I had it through the. Um, well, that's five hundred thousand. I don't have that. Hmm. I got that my Mesa through Meriwether. I stole it and kept it, but they, since the update, took it away from me when it got wrecked. So I need another one of those, and enough to mod it, and enough to mod that other car. Wouldn't mind having the Marshall. already got the Liberator. Well, we'll see how much stuff costs. Alright, guys. We will uh, be right back. In circles in the parking lot. Ron's calling me. I hate Ron, so I hung up on Ron after answering. Because that's how you deal with Ron. Wee Stoppy Ooh, what's down here? I don't think I ever knew there was a staircase over here. That's cool. That leads down here. Intradesting. I know it's interesting, but I like to say intradesting. Um so suck it. Do 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 do. All right, I'm bored. I was waiting for my car to be delivered, and I got bored. So I'm gonna go back in my garage and be bored in my garage. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Where's my flipping car, man? Try not to cuss because I really don't know why I don't cuss much in these videos. I sure do in uh, <clears throat> real life. I guess probably because I think kids might be watching this stuff and I'm even old in that respect because kids probably cuss more than I do. the AP pistol. <laughs> Are you going to try to run from a two million dollar car? 
seems to be working for you. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a perfect time to shoot him on the idiot. Just ram him. He rammed himself. Okay, this is a little bit um, ridiculous. Never had this much trouble with anything. Ever. Helps if I watch the map. There's my AP. Okay. That's what I kept trying to get back to with my AP pistol. My automatic pistol pistol. Did I get this tire? Really, really, I missed? Oh, you guys are seeing me on the worst right now. I'm gonna blame it on the new car. I'm not used to how it drives yet. Okay, now that was just bad. Two grand for all that. Two grand. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Scratched my. had a scratch or an itch on my head. I hate people like I had a scratch on my head, so I itched it. Ugh. You suck. Oh, I'm sure that wasn't good for the uh, structural integrity of my vehicle. Okay. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? We don't have much money left because it took most of the money that I got to get this stupid car. Should be running better than ever. That's a must. It might stop a missile. That's a must. I have fifty grand. I mean, what's important here? We got a ton of armor and we got bulletproof tires. The car's pretty quick as is. Graphite. I think it looks amazing. should be put over the top of it. Ultra blue over graphite usually looks pretty good. I dig it. Now for our secondary color, let's do a matte. Oh, that's matte black. Ooh, that's a bit much. That has a hint of purple to it. Yeah, I like that. That makes it a little bit darker. That's pretty cool. We'll do that. What about my suspension? Where is suspension? Not lower this thing. Really? What is this wheels, turbo transmission, spoiler? 
Huh, interesting. So let's do spooler. I gotta be honest, I like the massive race wing, or GT wing they're calling it, but. Some people would say that ruins the look of the car. I would say I don't care what those people say. Now that's a custom job. So we have a carbon race splitter. Oh, okay. The street one is cut back in the front. Jeez, I don't have enough money for that. So let's let's uh let's make this car earn its keep. Shut up, Brucey. Nobody really really nobody cares about Brucey. Hello, traffic. Ah, <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Um. You know what, guys? I think we're going to end this video there for this week, or this video for this day, because we'll be back probably this week. I really need to keep up with this stuff. If this comes out on Monday, there'll be another video Wednesday. If it comes out on Wednesday, there'll be another video Friday. If it comes out on Friday, there will be another video on Monday, because that's how I do this. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and uh, come back for more. In the next installment, as I said next week, uh, we'll be taking this thing in some races and seeing how, how it does in some of my custom races. So much like uh, some of my previous deals, we're going to be doing maybe a playlist or something. Just, just kind of testing it out, checking it, and see what it does.